So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the best way people can stop smoking. The best way to stop smoking is, got two ingredients to it. One is you keep trying because every time you uh, have a go at stopping smoking, it's like rolling dice. There's a lot of luck involved. Um, uh, a whole bunch of things can happen over which you've got no control um, and you could be doing fantastically well and then go back to smoking or you could be really struggling but hang in there and actually get through it. So, so you keep trying, that's a, that's a critical thing and I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, the other thing is to use one of the methods that um, I mean, literally tens of millions, hundreds of millions of pounds and dollars worth of research has, has told us gives you the best chance. So you want to load the dice in your favour. So it's like rolling dice, but you want to load the dice in your favour as much as you can. No guarantees with any one quit attempt, but the more often you do it and the more you load the dice in your favour, the more likely you are to succeed sooner rather than later. So looking at this issue of how often should you try to stop smoking, um, all the evidence tells us that how many times you've tried in the past makes absolutely no difference to how successful you're likely to be this time. You could make it first time, second time, 50th time. You could have tried 100 times and think, well, this is never going to happen, and it could happen on the 101st time. It actually makes no difference whatsoever. Um, the th one thing that does make a difference is if you um, have just tried to stop smoking recently, and it hasn't gone well, you've gone back to smoking, and you're now right back into smoking again, it is a good idea to wait for a while before having another go. Because what we find is that if you try and have another go just too quickly after the last quit attempt, your chances of success are actually lower. And I think that the reason for that is that your, your mental energy, your reserves are a bit depleted. Um, and you can be a bit demoralized um, as well. So uh, the best thing to do is to leave it a bit, uh, you know, maybe a month or two, maybe a bit longer, don't put any pressure on yourself. Feel It's absolutely fine. Um, just carry on smoking as you were before and, uh, and then when the time comes, have another go. So what I would say to any smoker is, this would be my kind of motto, is to, is to have, make at least one quit attempt every year until you succeed. If you do that and you follow the advice on what's the best method of quitting, then you will succeed and you will do it sooner rather than later. So, coming to the issue of you're rolling the dice now, how do you load the dice in your favour? And there's just a load of research on this. Um, there's two things that really come into play. One is the, the sort of uh, biochemical addiction, the drug addiction, if you like, and how do you address that? And the other is the psychological component. So in terms of the, uh, the biological addiction, then uh, there's a number of different drugs which really make a difference. One of these is a drug called Varenicline or Champix. It's Champix in Britain it's, uh, and most of the world. It's called Chantix. Uh, in America, Champix. You may have come across this drug. It's now very widely used and prescribed on the, on the National Health Service if you're in Britain or in most other countries. Um, this is a drug that was specifically designed to help people stop smoking. A second type of drug is one called Zyban. Um, it's actually also called Welbutrin in the United States where it's used as an antidepressant. Um, it's not used as an antidepressant in many countries in the world uh, because there's lots of other antidepressants and it just ha doesn't have to be licensed there, uh, but it does have that effect. Zyban uh, you get on prescription like you do with Champix or Chantix um, and it is also effective. And then the third kind of drug which is uh, very commonly used in, in most countries around the world, of course, is nicotine replacement therapy. It's the nicotine patches, nicotine gum, nicotine lozenge, nicotine nasal spray, lots and lots of different forms of nicotine. And they all have pros and cons, all these different drugs. There is another drug that I'm very uh, keen to see used more widely, which is used a lot in Eastern Europe and definitely is effective at helping you stop smoking. Um, it doesn't have a license in most countries yet outside of Eastern Europe, but it is effective and it is safe. And this is a drug called cytosine. If you put it into um, your 
uh, Microsoft Word, it will try and convert it into cytosine, which is not what it is, it's cytosine. And it comes from the laburnum plant. It comes from the seeds of laburnum. And any of you who know about gardening will probably be aware that the seeds of the laburnum plant are actually uh, poisonous. They make you feel very, very sick if you eat them. And the reason for that is cytosine. And of course, if you chew on the seeds of a laburnum plant, you're getting a massive dose of this drug. Um, but if you take it as a prescribed medicine, you're getting a very, very low dose, and it does help you stop smoking. So these are the key ones. Uh, you've got the uh, varenicline with Champix or Chantix. You've got Zyban, which is also called Bupropion, sometimes Welbutrin. You've got all the different varieties of nicotine replacement therapy. And you've got cytosine. So there's loads of different things to try. If one of them hasn't worked, try something else. You know, there's, there's lots of different options. Um, there's different ways of using these drugs. It's really important to obviously follow the uh, guidelines. But the one thing I would say about the nicotine products is that if you're going to use one of the nicotine products, use a patch, skin patch, plus one of the faster acting products, because we know from many studies that that gives you a better result than if you just use one of those products alone. So that's the, the, uh, the drugs that can help you stop smoking, and they really do work, and they are safe. And, and you know, smoking is so important to stop smoking that um, if you think, well, I, you know, really do I want to take a drug to help me stop smoking? I would say, well, you know, the question is, how long do you want to live for? basically, because these drugs do work. Then you come to the psychological side. How do you deal with all the, uh, the other stuff that's going on? And what we try and do with the psychological side is to keep your resolve high, because it's really easy to get demotivated and, uh, and just down when you're stopping smoking, and you need to keep your motivation levels up. And so the best way of doing that is to go and see a specialist stop smoking advisor. Um, in the UK, we have a network of these specialist advisors up and down the country. They used to be there in every part of the country, but more recently there are some parts of the country that don't have them, so you'd have to check. The best way to do that is just to go to see your GP and ask. Uh, but ask to see a specialist stop smoking advisor. Um, and they're not going to just have a chat, they're not going to tell you off, they're very friendly, they're very professional, and they've seen it all before. They, they really know what you're going through and they can give you really expert advice on what to do to deal with all the sort of difficulties that you encounter. So the best way of stopping smoking is to take one of these uh, medicines and combine it with the specialist support that you can get from a stop smoking advisor. If you don't have access to a stop smoking advisor or you find you're in an area where perhaps the advisors aren't massively good, then there are other things you could do. There's websites, there's a rather excellent book on stopping smoking called The Smoke-Free Formula, which gives you uh, all the evidence and, uh, and how best to use these, these methods, um, and it happens to be written by myself, so um, uh, I can highly recommend it. Um, but uh, So a book or um, uh, a website, or indeed uh, there are now a number of stop smoking apps which you can try. So those would be quite helpful as well. But my strongest advice would be if you possibly can, go and see a stop smoking advisor.